Welcome back, Stuart Eggles of Atlantis Worldwide. In this session, we're going to show how the movements of a sea arm work. Here we have a lever that, when you loosen it up, you can move the sea arm up and down as you see it. So you have the X-ray tube at the bottom right now, and the image intensifier at the top. Once you establish where you'd like to have it, you can lock it in. There's going to usually be a table, that a C-arm table in the middle where a patient is either prone or supine. So the top of the, the image intensifier and the x-ray tube would be around the table which sits in the middle. The next, the next aspect of the movements is this lever here which will turn the C-arm left to right as you see it. So basically you're able to turn the C-arm just about upside down as you can see it as well as once again, sliding it as you see it there. Once you get it to the position you want all together, then you can lock it in here and lock it in here. As well, it is, has motor, motorized portions of it as well, such as turning the C arm, such as you see it this way, as well as back. You have movements up and down, and going down, and then the final portion where you can make another adjustment is you open up this back lever on top of the side of it, which is called the door house, and you can pull the seam arm in and out, that type of motion. That concludes the session today. If there are any questions, please contact myself, Stuart Eggles, at Atlantis Worldwide at 212-366-9100.